Trash Talk Live at LFA 82 with Adamu Issa, who just got done with a very dominating performance of, a, of an amateur bout going down at LFA 82. How, do you feel, how are you feeling after a performance like that? Lots of spinning back kicks and lots of just kicks to the body in general. I'm telling you, man, like, uh, like I said, if it's easy, I don't want it. If it's easy, I don't want it. I want this one. I, I want it this way. And honestly, that's why um, we are willing to, 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 know, to go up and fight somebody with a lot of experience because we want that challenge. I want the challenge, and I wanted to be able to get better, and I wanted to prove that I can do so much more, and, and I'm willing to, to really, t you know, to take you as, yeah. as far as I can. Yeah, I mean, it was very impressive performance. I mean, you you were able to weather the storm because he was pressuring you a lot. I mean, and when I say weather the storm, I mean with the leg kicks. You know, he wasn't coming with too many punches, and you just seemed to eat him, eat him, eat him, step back, and then throw your own spinning back kick, your own body kick, and eventually it got him to back off and not actually come as hard uh, anymore until the later rounds. But were you expecting that much pressure from him, and were you expecting the, the second win? I, I wasn't. I, I was expecting that pressure, especially in the last three rounds. Um, and honestly, that's why the first first and second round, I know he got energy. I got gas. He got gas. So I make sure I took that from him. I make sure I took every move, every I use all. I use everything I have: the footwork, distance, the ring management. You know, um, I make sure I took that because I know. If he know he was he's losing, he's gonna want to come back crazy yeah. in round three, and and that was the plan, you know. So, yeah. we're, how, how comfortable were you when uh, the fights uh, finally did end and it went to the decision? I mean, granted, you you looked really good out there and you were landing a lot of shots, but he was coming hard with the pressure, and then he was able to clip you right at the end. How confident <laughs> were you that you secured Ooh, the victory? That last ten second, that was a wake up call. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm 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 I appreciate. I, I gotta go to him right now. I gotta say, hey, thank you for this round. This is what I look for. I need this in order to get better. Like I cannot be comfortable in last thirty second. Like I know it. You know, um, I was at the age. You know, we 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 were exchanging like, and then unexpected this overhand, and then he landed it, and then I clip, I slip. I was like, no, I gotta get up now, right now, not right now. I gotta get up. So I took it like a champ. And I get up, uh, it, it, it's a proof to myself, hey, I can take shot and I can get up. I can still win the fight. Hell still yeah. win the fucking fight. Oh, yeah. I mean, and it was very impressive. And it's a good testament or a good test to find out as an amateur and then continue to move forward. I, I can't wait to see how you ride this momentum moving forward. What's next for you? So I'm going back. I'm going back Monday, like I say. I had a couple of bruises, you know, so which is normal. I'm getting back to work on Monday. I'm getting back to work on Monday. We're going to get better. Um, we're going to learn from this. We're going to sit down, me and my coaches. Uh, we're going to sit down and watch and, uh, and learn from it. Like I said, when I get clipped in that last 10 seconds with the overhand, the first thing that comes to my head is Coach Greg Nelson. He always told me every training, he said, Adam, hands up. You got to keep your hands up because I get carried away and all this. I never seen him because I thought I would be able I'll be able to stop people from all this, but when, when they're close, I can see it. Yeah. Now, now if we go back to practice and Coach Greg Nelson, Greg Nelson says, Adam, hands up. I already know what he means. <laughs> now I see it. Now, now I know exactly what he's talking about. So it's a good lesson learned. You know, um, I'm, I'm really glad, you know, uh, everybody say, oh, he got a lot of experience. He's at rank five. Is it top five in the Midwest? Yeah, Midwest? yeah I believe so. Yeah. Now give me the fucking top five in the Midwest, baby. <laughs> now I'm, I'm taking this spot. That's what I look for. Now he's a tough guy. Now um, we're going to have to go back and sit down. We don't want an easy fight. Yep. Now we want somebody that's top, top three, top five around that. Six and all, seven and all. I don't care, man. <laughs> somebody up there with a the good record. I mean, record. you. You definitely deserve it, especially with a performance like this, being 2-0 and now. And, man, I just can't wait to see what's in the future for you. This is It's been exciting watching your last two fights, and I'm excited to watch the next one as well. Thank you for being on Trash Talk with us. Thank you very us. much. I love you, and I want to give a shout-out to a lot of people. I know the numbers is a lot, but I can only call a few. Uh, most importantly, you know, um, my family and friends, uh, that uh, I, I got a lot of support. I got a lot of support. Uh, 
Coach Greg Nelson, Coach Andy, Miss Kaitlyn, Coach Nat, a lot of them, they're not here. Um, a lot of instructors, man, they'll be really watching out for me at the gym during practice. John Castaneda, Sean Stebbin, Mac, Sean McProudon. Oh, ja oh, man, there's a lot. Kido, man, we are more than a teammate. We are family. We really watch out for each other inside and outside. So I really want to use this time. I want to say thank you, guys. I wouldn't have got this better. I, I would have got my ass kicked by this takedown attempt. You know, you know, I, I just smile. I saw him. I say, hey, I've been in this situation with John Castaneda. I've been in this situation with Sean McFadden. Sean Stebbin, fucking Stebbin. Yep. Dude, he's yeah. a fucking killer wrestler. Oh, yeah. So, you know, uh, without these guys, I would not have been here. And, and I, a lot of fans, people that I don't know, they show me support. You know, um, it really means a lot, you know, uh, that they support me. They see the potential of me. So I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. This is the only. This is the only start. This is the only beginning. We have. We have a story to tell. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see the story unfold with you, sir. Thank you for being on Trash Talk with me. Let's go next time.